Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how 1 to 6 0 years are linked with the Saros cycles. So let's quickly go across through that and try to find out more about this. So if you go on Google and just type up 1 to 6 0 years Saros cycles, what you get is the details which reads the complete series of these cycles consist of 70 or 71 eclipses and last for almost 1 to 6 0 years. So this is how this is evident that 1 to 6 0 years which we are seeing over here 1260 is been linked to that part that also if you want to keep on learning this kind of things probably you can just contact us we'll probably try to help you with rest of the stuff for understanding this bigger cycles also as well as the smaller cycles which may be tending for smaller time frames now if you want to find out more about saros as such basically you'd be able to get details I mean, like there are huge details which are available not only on Wikipedia, but you can also find out details which are there on NASA about the eclipse and Saros cycle as especially. So this is just a short description that the Saros cycles are basically of 18 years. So this is critical and very important for us to understand. As it has been said that 18 into 70 gives us 1 to 6 0 years. We'll get into the calculations part also. So this is of 18 years, not only that, but uh, again, I would like to emphasize about one more important thing, which we'd like to see over here is the Greek word apparently either comes from the Babylonian word Saru, meaning the number 3600. And probably that is how it has been related to the 360 days, years, degrees, and 1260 years. Now see, Gan was a very clever man. He already told to us that he has written tunnel through the air in a wheeled language. And we need to get into the details and then and only then we'll be able to understand more about that part. So these are the calculations for Saros. That is 18 into 70 that we get 1 to 6 0. And these are like the Saros families. We'll talk about the Saros families maybe probably in next videos or probably you can just learn about them. So 18 years that we saw from the Saros is over here this 80 into 70 gives us 1260 so basically that is how we derive the number that is 1260 years which is also been given in the book tunnel through the air and probably we just need to interpret more about that part so let's try to find out more about the basics of uh, eclipse how they have been formed first of all so we know that we have uh, the sun. Whenever the moon comes in between the earth and the sun, we get an eclipse. But for that, it is to be very precise. It has to be only there into, on the ascending lunar node and the descending lunar nodes, which are also called as the Rahu and Ketu. We have made some videos pertaining to this. And the path the sun takes is called the plane of the elliptic. The moon's path is tilted at 5.1 degree from the plane of the elliptic. And whenever the sun, the moon and the earth or they are aligned on this path, then and only then we get an eclipse. One more interesting thing which I'd just like to know is, see, we have got the north node and the south node. The north node and the south node are opposite to each other this is the first and most important part and the second and most interesting thing that we need to know is the saro cycles are being numbered accordingly so, so all north node solar eclipse have odd numbers all south node eclipse have even numbers so do you remember something about odd numbers and even numbers square of nine what we see is all the squares which are there let's say for example 4 16 36 64 100 these are all square of even numbers they fall on one side of the diagonal which is there and all the squares of odd numbers which are 9 25 49 81 121 169 this fall on one side of the diagonal and the even numbers the square of even numbers and the square of odd numbers they are on opposite sides so i'll leave this up to you how do you find out more information regarding this because this is really interesting and probably not only the square of nine is being made on the basic fundamentals, but also the north and south node, 
the saro cycles are also been numbered on the basis of this part so we have seen that during a solar eclipse the moon is between the sun and the earth and not only that the moon has a very perfect ratio and because of that we get a complete solar eclipse even if it was probably at a distance which is more or maybe at less we wouldn't have been able to see a perfect solar eclipse this is very important that's why the universe in itself maintains some specific ratios which are very important for us and that's why we see the moon and the sun almost of the same size when we are looking up into the sky now as i told you we can also go on nasa website and try to find out more information regarding this uh, nasa eclipse website is there which is a specific website we can just probably copy from this or maybe try to get some more information this is all the information which has been given over here probably you can try to find out more the cycles which are there specifically of the saros cycles are been mentioned over here they are been given more of in details so what year which cycle and through which phase it would be passing which saros cycle is there this are being given in details so you can get more information regarding this on the websites also there are various terminologies which probably you'll be able to find out and understand more about this so these are the eclipses from 1901 to 2045 and we can see especially from india it was been passing somewhere around in 2009 so this is specifically only for saros 136 this is just a summary of uh, the synodic months, uh, the draconian month. This is also available on Google. So probably you can just go through that. So this is all the maths and it boils down to the same thing, which is 18 years. So we have talked about this 18 years together. So as I've told you, Saros series north begin at the North Pole and move down the face of the earth. Saros series south begin at the South Pole and work up the face of the earth. There are 70... 72 eclipses in each saros this is how we get 18 into 70 that is 1 to 6 0 years and that is how we come down to the years of 1 to 6 0 indirectly he has mentioned about this in terms of 360 days 360 years cycles which are there of time times and a half day for a year year for a day again giving us variant hints together so we'll just read about some of the facts. Saros facts, only solar eclipse are part of Saros series or cycles that astrologers use. Each eclipse is a Saros cycle occur almost 18 years, 11 day, 8 hours apart. The 8 hour shows the trine movement. The next eclipse in a Saro cycle will happen just about a trine further in the chart than the previous eclipse now this is something really important for us to understand because there would be a time difference accordingly there are total 70 to 72 eclipses in each saros saroses have odd numbers for north eclipse and even numbers for south eclipse saros eclipse occur at the same node right so this is some of the basic information which is there we'll come down with some more information now, if you want to understand more about this specific things or learn more about cycles which are there, you can definitely contact us and we'll be definitely giving you some kind of courses related to these parts. So please do contact us. The information has already been given in the contacts. See you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.